Major League Baseball. Tony Gonsolin is on the mound for the Dodgers in this contest. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you want to know if this guy is one of the better pitchers in the league? Well, how about this? Batters are hitting under 200 against this guy for the year, so he's done a good job against both righties and lefties. And I'm looking for him to be just as dominant in this one. First pitch. 7-11. The 0-1 on its way. Nope. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, one but it's 1-1. One and one. Dan Dero, you check out this Dodger team as they enter play here tonight. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Matty, the last game, uh, they, they, they got to wash that down the drain. They got absolutely boat raced by a big margin. They got to put that behind them. Show up to the yard today looking to fight. Everything changes once the first pitch is thrown. And there's one gone to begin the evening. That is second. The second baseman, Phil Gosselin. Stepping up to the plate, Phil Gosselin. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Goslin, 30 years of age. He was a fifth round pick back in the 2010 first year player draft. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. And he fouls this one off. Gonsolin has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job at keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. Yeah, Matt, and that's not an easy thing to do. I think one of the reasons is he changes speeds really well, and he throws both sides of the plate. One of the keys to missing the barrels, you have to be able to throw inside and throw outside, and he's about as good as it gets in baseball at missing barrels. So he got him swinging. Phil Goslin is the second out of the opening frame. Here's Bryce Harper now. And this will be fouled away. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No score. Stepping in, Justin Turner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. For the Dodgers, the third baseman, Justin Turner. Here's the pitch. Oh, that's off the plate. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they've been hot of late, winners in four straight. Yeah, Maddie, I know we're getting ready for game two. But yesterday, man, road trip got off to a great start. They pounded the baseball, pitched, played defense. This team comes in riding high into game two. Front door with the slider eclipsed yep. the zone for a called strike. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. The catch is made out there by McCutcheon, and that's the first down. Stepping up now, Chris Taylor, head to head at the start of play against Zach Eflin. A number of meetings, he's one for seven. Now a swing and a fly ball, but this will wind up being a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 1. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. 0-2 once more. Line to the right side. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. 
the shortstop, Corey Seager. Now here's the pitch. Oh, one's the count. Down 0-2 to a guy with this much weaponry, five pitches he can go to, not looking good. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. Dodgers down in order. And this is still a nothing-nothing ball game. And now it will be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. JT Real Muto and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Now the pitch. Lifted into the air out towards center field. On the move is Taylor. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. That pitch. The shortstop. Didi. Gregorius. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up Didi Gregorius. First pitch coming. Here it is. Gregorius, also known as Sir Didi around the game and in the Netherlands. He's currently on a one year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Hey, give the hitter credit right there. He was ready for that heater 0 2. But, Dan, I question the pitch selection. You, you know, sometimes as a pitcher, you don't want to give a good hitter the same pitch back to back to back, three pitches in a row. His thinking might have been right there. He had gone off speed two pitches in a row. Maybe he had him set up for the fastball. He guessed wrong. And, indeed, he won't try to force it at second. He'll just flip on to first through the shoe route. And you know, guys, if this bat doesn't break, it's probably a double play ball, but that just wasn't happening here. Good job to make sure of one, though. Now at the plate, Andrew McCutcheon, runner in scoring position with Sugan. He's ready. Here's the first offering. McCutcheon. Or just Kutch, as he's frequently referred to. He was a first-round pick back in 2005. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Boy, you know, d every pitcher loves that. Shortstop does a great job just to knock that ball down to keep it from the outfield to keep that runner from advancing all the way to home. Yeah, and, and as a former middle infielder, Dan, we, we love this stuff. This is what gets you jacked up, trying to save runs for your pitcher, give you another chance to execute and get us out of this inning. Into the box now, Adam Hazley. He swings and grounds it to short. And a base hit as the Phillies will strike first in this one. They lead it one nothing. Boy, when teams are playing well like this team is on a nice little winning streak right here. They strike early in this one to keep the mojo working. Yeah, Dan, from an offensive standpoint, everyone searches for confidence, and that's exactly what they have right now. Everyone contributing makes for a fun clubhouse. Into the box, Zach Eflin. On, he pops it up. Muncie onto the grass. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. On now to the bottom of the second. Phillies lead this one one to nothing.
Last half of the second set to go. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Mookie Betts. Pulls this one in the air out to left. McCutcheon is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Batting fifth. Next up is Max Muncy. He went deep in the contest last night. Oh, he checked a swing there and pops this one up. Boom is there, so two pitches and two outs thus far. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring forward Cody Bellinger. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here 0-1. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Froze him for strike three, and that retires the side. One, two. Top of the third set to get underway, and set to go is the third baseman, Alec Bohm. First offering on its way. Hit toward the right side. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And with that, there you get a look at what's happening in the race in the National League West. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Phil Goslin. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Oh one, here's the pitch. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Now the pitch. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Taylor is there. And that retires the side. Phillies down in order. They lead it one to nothing. Standing in, Will Smith. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up. Six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Nope. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. All even now. Two and two. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And with that, we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. At the plate, Gavin Lux. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here it comes. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. And now pitch on the way. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. 
running hard. He's digging for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. The relay throw. But he is in there with a triple. And that's his second triple of the season. For some hitters, that's a career. Good swing and great hustle to pick up the three-bagger. At the plate, Tony Gonsolin. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. The 0-1 pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And the tying run is in to score from third. Now batting, third baseman, Justin Turner. Standing in now, Justin Turner. As he'll take strike one on the inside corner. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Pulls this one in the air out to left. McCutcheon is under it and he makes the catch for the second out. So striding forward now, Chris Taylor hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. set for the start of the fourth and that'll bring in the veteran catcher JT Realmuto he's ready here's the first offering timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right here's the 0 1 pitch strike swinging timing a little off on that one Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Opportunity now to take a look into some of the future plans for the Dodgers as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent minor league action. Here's Didi Gregorius as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. A base hit in his first trip. The 1 0 home. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Betts has a read on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Sent on the ground, but right into the shift. Throw on to Muncy, gets him, and with that, they'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth, tied 1 to 1. Matt Vaskersian back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak as the 2016 National League Rookie of the Year Corey Seager settles in to start things out. Fielded cleanly and the throw on the first will take care of him so he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. And next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter Mookie Betts. So far 0 for 1 with a fly out. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 and 1. back up the middle and that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. 
Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, no, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base ah. hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. And he's able to reach down and put this one away. Great concentration there for the second out. Now back, left fielder, Cody. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that brings in the former National League Rookie of the Year, Cody Bellinger. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Dodgers leave one. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And he told me that they have to find a way to be more patient at the plate. Over 90% of their at-bats have started with a swing on the first pitch. And given their lack of run production, that approach clearly isn't working. He said adjustment number one has to be to allow the at-bats to develop and look for good pitches to hit in deeper counts where they will hopefully have more of an advantage over the pitcher. Thank you, Heidi. At the plate, Adam Hazley looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at-bat. And he takes ball one. Hazley is often heralded for his defensive capabilities patrolling the outfield so much in fact it's not uncommon to hear the word elite when used in talking about his skill set. So I guess it goes without saying that his pitcher teammates always appreciate having him out there behind them. Yeah he just seems to be in the right place at the right time. I don't know if he could see the signs from out there but it almost seems like he gets a jump before the pitch even reaches home plate. From the stretch. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Here's the 0 and 2. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Phillies down in order. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Thank you, Heidi. Down the left field line and deep. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Harper has a read on it. One down. Digging in for his second at bat, Gavin Lux. He smacked a triple and later scored his first time around. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. And he lays off for ball one. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Hit hard on the ground to second. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine ball hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat. 
Back to the top of the order now, and digging in at the play will be Justin Turner. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. One run, four hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Turner swings, and it's a very well-hit ball to left. McCutcheon going back, still going back. A leap at the wall, but forget it, it's gone. A home run. So a two-run shot to left center. Home run number five on the year. And it gives the Dodgers a 3-1 to one lead. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Digging in now, Chris Taylor. And Dan, after that home run, it looks like they might be able to end this losing streak that they've been mired in. Yeah, and the win at this level feels really good, especially when it's been a while. They're on their way if they can play well the rest of the game. Taylor behind, 0-2 the count. Hey, down in the count 0-2, I'd like to see a little choke and poke right here. Maybe work it up the middle or opposite field with two strikes. On the move is Harper. Here comes another 0-2. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. But the Dodgers do strike for... Ready for another shot now, Alec Bohm. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Stepping into the box, Phil Gosselin. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This is line to left. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Dan, are you even concerned about that? You've been pitching out of the wind-up ball game, and now you have to go to the stretch. Right? It can be a concern sometimes, Debra, but you try to in between starts to make sure that you throw enough pitches out of the stretch. And he's been out of the wind-up most of the game, so we'll see how he reacts here after this base hit. Fouled away. one line towards center field Taylor is there now and he has it two gone now back. So now it'll be the four hole hitter JT real Muto he flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently he's ready now the pitch in the dirt here. Goslin, the runner at first with two gone. Fouled off. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Here's Corey Seager. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Here's Mookie Betts as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. This year against right-handed pitching, Betts is hitting over 350 up in the high 300s. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business, and maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. No 
the wind up and the 0 2 pitch. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. And he'll pull into second with one away. So a double into the gap has him in business here with one away as he moves into double digits now as we check out the team leaderboard. That is 10 for him here on the campaign. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. No hits to this point. One and one to the Dodgers first baseman. Clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it. Count is one and two now. Now Muncy with a swing and a deep drive to right. Out of here into the visitors bullpen. A two run blast to straight away right field. Eighth home run on the season for him as they stretch the lead to 5 1. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit well on the ground to first. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now batting. Ready for Hunter. another chance? Will Smith. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And it's gone as they add still another. So a solo shot here to left center field. Seven home runs for him on the year now. And it's now a six to one ball game. So that was the third home run for these guys today. d -roll some days the fellas walk in with their hitting shoes on. And this looks like one of those games. Yeah, but there's a saying going around dugout right now there's a fight at the bat rack. everybody wants a chance to get into that batter's box stepping in now Gavin Lux no balls in one strike three runs already home here here's a swing and a bouncing ball hit to Gregorius at short throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired another good inning here for Seventh inning ready to roll. And here's the left-handed hitting shortstop Didi Gregorius now. Here comes the first pitch. Ready with the 0-1. Into right field, that's a base hit. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins, and it's fouled away. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And it's quickly 0-2. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ballgame. Ready with the 0-2. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Well, this has been a completely different performance from the offense that we saw yesterday. They were looking like the 27 Yankees 24 hours ago, but they've been held in check so far in this one. That's kind of how baseball goes, though. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now, and he fouls this one off. One for two in the ball game thus far. He 
set. Here's the 0 1. One run, five hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. In now, Adam Hazley. Taylor is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Philly strand one, they trail six to one. So here's the Dodgers pitcher Tony Gonsolin. He's been great on the mound so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah Matt when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Right side but it's going to be a foul ball. The one two. Locks him up for strike three. Now that so the batting order turns over now and set to go. Justin Turner. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. Now that so digging in now Chris Taylor hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat but it resulted in a line out. Here's a slider to start things out looked at for ball one. Lots of hits given up but so far no walk. Taylor swings and a ball hit well to left. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Chris Taylor with a solo shot. Sixth home run on the season for him as it's now a six run ball game. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager. And the starter remains out there despite just allowing the long ball. We thought maybe they'd go and get him, but no indication of that yet. Yeah, to me, that home run was a sign that he's starting to get a little bit tired out there. It was a and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. But the Dodgers add on courtesy of this solo home run. We'll march on to the eighth, and the lead is stretched to seven to one. Gene Segura is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. High fly ball out to straightaway center. On the move is Taylor. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now that. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Alec Bohm, he could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Stepping in, Phil Gosselin. He singled his last time up. And now pitch on the way. Hops this one up. Lux is there. And that ends the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. It's the Dodgers seven and the Phillies one.
Victor Arano comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Under it is Harper, and Bryce has got it for the first out. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Max Muncy is working on a one for three thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Not even close on that swing. No balls in the strike. Read this one almost in books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Cody Bellinger stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Fouled away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Chopped to third. And they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there, or probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A-B in this one, but he's able to get it done. Pay better late than never, and I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A-B of this game, so if I'm going to keep this streak alive, I'm going to have to do it right now. A ball and a strike now. And this is low, ball two, two and one. A bouncer up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Hey, after back-to-back -back two out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate of crooked number going on the board. He's two for three and looking for more here. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Well, if anybody was wondering why they're losing, there's the reason. When you're given a chance to make a big play, you've got to make it. Or you're going to be on the wrong in the games more often than not. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. I kind of like the aggressive attitude right here. I know he's in a jam. What does he do? He goes to his best stuff, and that's the fastball. Count even at two and two. And he popped him up. Goslin is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Only one in the inning here for the guys in blue. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Ground ball right side, straight into the shift. Throw on the first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Up next to Philadelphia, the catcher, JT. Standing in, JT Realmuto. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First pitch on its way. Oh, look at that stop. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. In now, Didi Gregorius. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Gone! A 
solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 13 for him on the year. And this lead has been cut to just six now. Oh, that swing has to feel good right there. If you look at the numbers, this guy does not give up many long balls. To take him deep in this spot certainly is huge. Here comes the Dodger manager making his way toward the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll depart as he couldn't quite get that final out, but he will leave with the lead after a strong eight and two thirds. Into the box now, Reese Hoskins. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. A one count. Here's the pitch. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 2 now. Philly down to their last strike. And here's a fastball on 0 2, but it misses 1 and 2 now. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Got him swinging in the dirt. Up with it, Smith. Throw on to first is going to be in time for the final out, and the Dodgers will put an end to their three-game skid as this ball game is over. Eight to two tonight's final. The Dodgers get their division.